So I've um, I've three more for y'all. Um, the uh, uh, how many of y'all are familiar with the poet John Sands? A, a few folks. So John is uh, uh, he's from Ohio. He lives in Brooklyn, and um, uh, he's a really just wonderful poet and a wonderful person. And there's something about his poems that when I hear them, um, uh, they 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 fill me with this uh, dancing gold light. Uh, and and makes me feel like I could pay my rent by uh, uh, by, by by just giving high fives to my landlord in very quick succession. Um, and so, after I, I, I after I wrote this poem I'm about to share for y'all, there was something about it that uh, felt like it was written under the shade of a John Sands tree. And so it's uh, uh, it's titled "Today's Love Is Brought to You by the Letter John Sands." High five me with your heart. Have thousand me with your hearts. I know you have many of them. We all love many things. I love biscuits. I love little pancakes. I love cheeseburgers. I've loved more than just things that I chew with my mouth. I did love my wife. Sometimes I would chew my wife's shoulder in my mouth. Sometimes my wife, she was annoyed by this. But still, sometimes my wife did love me back. Some things that I've loved will never love me back. Random racist upon the street, while your rhetoric may anger me, I still have love for you, though you probably will not love me back. Walrus, I love you. Though were I to be around you, you would probably gore me with your tusks. Perhaps this is not a good example, as the wild unknowing of wild creatures is not necessarily the same as not loving something back. Perhaps also because I actually do not love the walrus, but simply mention him here because there is a small figurine of a walrus on the coffee table as I write this poem. However, I do love the elephant. However... He too would probably gore me with his tusks. Again, not out of unlove, but perhaps fear. I do not love fear, but I respect him, and that he loves me, testing how well I carry the sword of my intent through the land of the Midnight Farm. The land of the Midnight Farm, it is a strange and scary place. There are perhaps serial killers and or possums lurking in its darkness. The serial killer may love me, but in no way that I wish to be loved. Their love may involve the removal of my skin and the wearing of it out to the club. The possum may love me, but I do not love the possum. In fact, I hate the possum solely because of how ugly I find the possum to be. And yes, I realize this is a very shallow reason to dislike something, so I'm trying, possum. I'm trying to not not love you so much. Instead, possibly just be ambivalent to your existence. But, oh, I want to hate you like I hate the thought of bees, black people, and beans. I put black people in there just to see if y'all were paying attention. I fucking love black people. I fucking love white people. Though sometimes I find both of them to be trifling. Don't get me wrong. The only mother that I've ever had is black. The only wife that I've ever had is white. But, damn, if we humans aren't a trifling animal at times. But still, I love you. You mountains of trifle and futility, of perseverance and lightness, of incessant rowing towards the sun, even while facing it, wondering why there is no forward momentum. Turn around. Look at my many hands holding up my many hearts in a many high five salutation to you, Nina Simone, Paul Newman. So many things in this world I have loved, rising with the sun, sleeping in late. Little pancakes. And even though they didn't turn around once when she got gone, my wife's shoulders. <laughs>